Hey guys, this is a quick video on borderline personality disorder and how to approach that uh, when they dip in, dip out of your life. Um, the best thing you guys can do is just not take things personally, knowing that they are mentally ill. Uh, BPD is a mental illness. You really can't be mad at someone when they're exhibiting the symptoms of their mental illness. Um, it's important to not take their behavior personally. Oftentimes, their behavior has absolutely nothing to do with you as the individual. They might be mad about their car insurance all day and, and they can't stop thinking about it. And you here you think they're ignoring you, but they may just be thinking about their car insurance all day. So my point is don't take any of their behavior personally when they dip in, dip out of your life. That's what BPD individuals do. Um, one minute they want one thing, the next minute they want another. Um, perfect example, the girl I love came here for three weeks this winter and then took off after three weeks after I had to ask her dogs to leave. So they just, they dip out on a whim's notice. Um, the best thing you can do is just be reality, reality, uh, approach the situation in reality. You know, if this person comes back into your life that has BPD, um, most BPD individuals will, will tell people they just want friendships because re those relationships are too triggering to them. So they can't be a boyfriend. They can't be a girlfriend because it's just too triggering. That enmeshment feeling is too much for them. So they'll oftentimes sabotage a good situation because of that enmeshment feeling. So they often just want to be friends. So maybe just give them what they want. Maybe just be their friend, you know. Um, if they want to come visit you for coffee or something, have coffee with them. But if they start acting like, you know, all lovey-dovey with you, say, hey, wait a minute. You said you just want to be friends. We're just going to be friends. So, no, you can't, you know, cuddle up on me unless you like that, that type of thing. So just being reality-based, understanding they can't be your girlfriend. They can't be your boyfriend because of the mental illness. I'm not saying this is the case with every individual with BPD. Some BPD women can carry on very good relationships. They can be loving partners and some BPD women stay with their partners. So every case is different. Um, most, of my border, most of my borderline videos are probably talking about antisocial borderlines because those are the ones I've, uh, that I've dated were antisocial borderlines. It's like being a sociopath, but being borderline at the same time when you're antisocial with it, the antisocial personality disorder. Um, so I guess that's my answer to your question. You know, should you continue to be the person's friend? Sure. Why not? But just be reality based, understanding they may dip in out of your life. They may come into your life for a week and then leave for a week. So if you expect it, you're not going to be disappointed. You see what I'm saying? Like if the the girl I love comes to visit me, I'll say, geez, I hope she stays a few days. You want a cup of coffee? You want a donut? Hopefully you stay a day or two. See how I'm being reality based? I, I, I have under, now that I understand the mental illness and her extreme mental illness, which is the antisocial personality disorder linked with the BPD, it's a co-occurring comorbid illness. Now that I understand she's completely not able to meet my needs. She can't be my girlfriend because of the mental illness. She can't be my girlfriend because of her anxiety. She can't be my girlfriend because of her PTSD. She can't love me at all. Uh, the only person that she can kind of love is herself. Um, she just is so focused on self. She doesn't really see anyone else in the room because of her, her symptoms. She just don't see other people in the room. Um, if I drop today, she wouldn't lose. She wouldn't lose a wink of sleep. If I drop dead right now, she wouldn't lose a wink. And I was the guy that was in love with her for years. You see what I'm saying? But now I'm reality based. This girl cannot be my girlfriend. Case closed. Okay, so if she wants to come around, then I'm going to be reality based. Hey, so and so, have a piece of pie. Um, and if they come up and tell me, Jesus, uh, you're the best boyfriend I've ever had. No, thanks. We've tried that. It doesn't work. We're just going to be friends at this point. You want some more pie? You want some coffee? So you can be nice to them. You don't have to raise your voice. You don't have to be abusive. You don't have to be verbally abusive. You can just step up and just be that friend that they said they wanted. Just be their friend. Hey, you want a cup of coffee? Have a cup of coffee. Understand they may only be in your life for a day or two or three weeks like it was my case. She came here three weeks and then left. If I start expecting that shit, then I'm not going to be upset about it. Maybe I could be, keep being her friend. You see what I'm saying? So hope that answers your question. Thank you so much.